welcome again to the third video of GTA Global Techniques of Architecture. As promised earlier, uh, this video would be dedicated to the topic of need to design facades. So now since the facade has been evolving right from the first video wherein we saw we discussed about the mud wall about 500 to 700 mm deep to brickwork to acc work and finally glass sometimes 6 mm sometimes a dgu so if at all even if if at all it's a dgu the maximum dimension that we can get probably into generic terms would be 6126 which would be 24 mm so this 24 mm of glass along with the backing of aluminum system has to perform to certain criteria. So what are those criteria about? So this video is dedicated to need for design of facades. So the first and the foremost barrier to your external environment is facade. So the first and the foremost need to design the facade point number one would be weather. When I say weather, weather would be in two parts. Number one would be air. Number two would be water. So within this uh, weather itself, the leakage, whether it be air infiltration, whether it be air exfiltration, whether it be water infiltration or water exfiltration, both are not expected out of any designed executed facade. Similarly, second point is structural. So this point of structural, I'll elaborate into the next video wherein we would be discussing specifically about the wind load, the positive and the negative one. So structural load, of course, would be a summation of the dead load as well as the live load on the building, on the facade exerted by the external elements. So structural. Third is the seismic load. So what is the seismic load? Seismic is the activity of uh, earthquake. So if at all there is a seismic activity, it must not happen that the building itself becomes or the facade itself comes down and the building becomes a new project. So the executed facade, the design of facade must be such that there must be provisions to incorporate the seismic movements. Third is again an acoustic benefit wherein uh, outside, if at all the source is outside the building outside the project that must not be directly be heard so again this calls for a very detailed deliberation on how to measure the sound or how to count the sound from the source to the receive, uh, receiver there are many ifs and buts to this we'll cover it in the later uh, part of the videos and last is the safety when i call safety safety is the last parameter that a designer thinks about, unfortunately, but this has to be the number one. So safety is not for the people inside the building. Safety is not for only the people deciding inside the end occupants. The safety must be also for people moving in the perimeter of the building, moving along the periphery of the building. Any breakage, any failure, of nut or bolt from any height can be fatal. So the basic need for design of facades would be basically five elements. Number one, safety. We start with safety. Number two, weather. Number three, structural. Number four, seismic. And number five is acoustic. So Whenever next time you come across a question called why is there need to design facade, the answers are very simple, five. Other than this, if you come across any new answers, please mention it into the comment below. We'll incorporate it and have a new video out of it. Thanks a lot once again. Thanks for watching.